Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Angular 10 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about ngif directives. ngif directives is used to add or remove HTML elements according to the expression. The expression must return a boolean value. If the expression is a false, then the element is removed. Otherwise, element is inserted. Alright, so let's see how we can use ngif directives in Angular 10. So switch to the project and inside the project just open app.component.html file. Okay. And here just add a paragraph. So I'm just going to type here e tag. And inside this paragraph tag, just write here a text your age is higher than 18. Okay, this is the text sentence. Now go to the app.component.ts file and here just create a new property let's say age and set the default value let's say default value is 19 alright now save this file and inside the app.component.html file uh, just add here ng if ok so for that just write here is asterisk and g f is equal to and just write here the expression here okay so age is greater than 18 then just display this text okay if age is greater than 18 then display this text all right now save the file and let's check it so go to the localhost 4200 port and you can see here the text is displayed okay your age is higher than 18 if i change the age so go to the app.component.ts file and here just uh, change the age i am just going to put here the age 17 all right now save the file and you can see here text gone okay the text is not displaying because condition is false because age is less than 18 you can see you can see here the age is 17 so that's why it's not showing all right now let's see the else part of ng okay so here just add a tag uh, ng uh, ng dash template okay and inside this uh, ng template tag just add here a paragraph let's say paragraph is your age is lower than 18 okay now here just add the reference variable identifier okay so just write here as and else block okay this is the identifier name else block now use this identifier so just inside the ng expression just add here the semicolon and uh, else and just write this block uh, this identifier name okay so just write here else block right now save the file and let's check so you can see here the else part for age is lower than 18 because age value is 17 right if i change the value let's say 20 now save the file and if i check here you can see here the your age is higher than 18 all right now let's see another way to use uh, the ng if so go to the app.complaint.html file and here here uh, just add a uh, div and uh, inside div just use here ng if so just write here asterisk 
and the if okay and add here the expression so just write here is is greater than 18 18 and here just add the then block okay so just write here then and uh, identifier name let's identifier name is then block and else block for else block so just write here else and let's say identifier name of else block is else is else block so just write here else block all right now let's create this block then block and else block okay so just write here and see template and uh, inside this just try add here the paragraph your is is higher than 18 okay and add here the identifier name so just write here has then block okay now add the else block so just write here ng template as else block and inside this add the paragraph your is is lower than 18 okay all right now let's check it so save the file and switch to the browser and you can see here your age is higher than 18 if i change the age here let's say 16 now save the file and here you can see your age is lower than 18 so in this way you can use ngif directives in angular 10 so thank so that's all about angular 10 and zip directive so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching